Man, I'm bored. There's nothing to do. And it seems like not. There's just nothing to go on. And blah, blah. Oh! I guess I could show my tapes then. Hello, all you happy people. You know what? I'm going to show you my VHS collection. Well, specifically the clamshells and maybe just the Star Wars and Indiana Jones tapes I have there because I have an entire box full of these tapes. And um, if I went through all of them, then we'd be probably be here for about an hour. <laughs> Alright, now first, let's go over the Disney tapes. <sighs> this pile's pretty big, I hope it doesn't fall over. Mother f Now that all that mess has been sorted out, here's every one of them. Yep, I did not have a lot of Disney tapes. In fact, all of these tapes, I did not grow up with. I, um... I got them from, like, various sales, cause, like... <laughs> For the Walt Disney's classics, I only really have five of them. I have Fantasia, The Rescuers Down Under, the Rescuers, Pinocchio, and Alden. The most noteworthy out of these is my Fantasia, which it practically came brand new. I got it at a garage sale, and it was just like, holy shit. Also, this feels like sex. Mmm, yes. As for the Walt Disney's Masterpiece Collection, everything except this one is Masterpiece Collection. In all honesty, I kind of prefer the Masterpiece Collection tapes over the classics. I don't know why, I just always liked the mid-90s a lot more than the early 90s or whatever. It's just, you know... Some of these have been branded with loud. In fact, I think five of these have loud on them. And Melody Time in particular made me fucking lose my shit just from the trailers alone. Because of a certain tape, which we'll be going over when we get there. We get there when we get there! And the last tape, Fantasia 2000. Good movie, recommend it. Practically almost all these Disney tapes, except for maybe the Black Diamonds, are dirt cheap. You can find them practically fucking everywhere. And now for the non-Disney stack, which I will knock over on purpose. That wasn't as spectacular as I thought it would be. Disappointment out of the way, here's everything. Significantly a lot less than the Disney pile. I don't know why, but Disney had a... Disney had a hard-on for clamshells during their, uh... VHS phase. But anyway, we got a uh, Batman Mask of the Phantasm, a movie I picked up because I've heard it was actually pretty good. The Little Rascals, which I which was from my aunt, and I needed more Universal tapes. The Wizard of Oz, a movie which I've never seen until last week as of this recording. Balto, Madeline, a movie I just picked up because she shares the same name as a character of mine. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, a movie my mother used to watch all the time the night before Thanksgiving. The Goonies, how the Grooch stole Hanukkah and gave it back yesterday. <laughs> Whatever the fuck the Dyke Kike YouTube poop was called. I will fuck the tree. Chicken Run, Blues Big Musical Movie, Jimble Nut Trumble, Boy Jim Bumble, and Ants. And now, consider the following. Here is all of my, not necessarily Disney movies, but were still distributed by Disney. Movies. <laughs> Here's A Nightmare Before Christmas. Toy Story, James and the Giant Peach, Flubber, mm -hmm. A Bug's Life, Toy Story. Mm -hmm. Wait a, wait a fucking minute! This is getting out of hand! Yes, I'm such a sucker for this fucking movie. I had to go and get two of them. 
But I mostly wanted this one because it had Tin Toy before it, and Tin Toy's my favorite Pixar short, so uh, you do the math. Now let's move on. Um, Little Mermaid 2, Return to the Sea, might end up selling this one because of Disney's horrendous track record when it comes to direct-to-video movies. <sighs> Toy Story 2 of them. Bud Light Beer of Star Comingle. Monsters Obstrupulated. And what is this? An anime? This cannot be! No anime. Yes, I have Kiki's Delivery Service on VHS because surprisingly I've never seen this movie until this week. <laughs> A lot of movies I haven't seen until this week, but uh, that's another story. But yeah. I this context with this one is that I waited the, in the mail for this fucking thing to come for like a week and two days, and I was just like, "Yeah, like that wheezing soldier." <laughs> it was an awful wait, but I finally got to see a good movie, and yeah, I love this tape. Looks good, good movie inside of it, and you get a free Finding Nemo advert with it. So yeah, to put it bluntly. Those are all my clamshell tapes. That's pretty much it. So, uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, go eat your own ass. Oh, okay, bye! For the, uh, Walt Disney Classics, I only have five. Fantasia, The Rescuers Down Under... <laughs>